Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today's platform tip of the week. Uh, today, the topic that we're going to be discussing uh, and in display, uh, it's very common request is range bars. Okay. Now, the definition of a range bar chart is the range bar is valued by technicians or traders because unlike a time-based signal, a range bar is the actual price parameter a contract has established over an undefined amount of time. For example, an 8-tick range bar candlestick shows the trader the definitive trading range. And it is very easy to set up on our new uh, web charts. Uh, simply select display and you can see of these options just below Renko we have range bars. Now if I simply select it you're going to see it's going to change your range bar chart however how many ticks when when is the market going to create another candlestick right how what is the range that i've just selected in order to specify that you need to click on this little um icon next to range bars so it's right here it's this little gear and here is where you can specify uh, what the range you want to be before it breaks out to another candle. Now, people are used to the Infinity AT Dome where you specify profit target and stop loss in ticks. Uh, this charting software for the range bar study calculates everything in points. Okay, so obviously with S&P, there's four ticks in a point, right? So if you wanted an eight tick range bar in the S&P, so as soon as it breaks eight ticks, it's going to create another candlestick, you're going to have to do the equivalent point valuation of that. So an eight tick range bar in the S&P would actually be two, two points equals eight ticks, right? And then do not click auto select. If you select auto select, it's just going to create um, a range close to that that fits within the screen. So if I wanted an eight tick range, I'm going to just simply select two points, right? And if I click the enter button, you can see that it quickly changes into that. And in order to exit this window, it will remain at a, a two point range bar uh, by simply exiting. You can see on the left hand side, it's the study um, I went over, display I went over last week. Obviously, if you guys have been following the S&P, um, you know that kind of a, a, a point of control or a level, you'll say that um, it's been either drawn to or coming back to is this 3,000 level on the S&P. So what I did is I simply selected uh, the dome display. I put the price ex level exactly at... Um, 3,000. That way I can very easily see when the market's either breaking um, or growing below that level on the left-hand side. I think it's a really cool study. I just found out about it last week thanks to Jim Cagnina uh, who informed me of it and I like looking at that intraday. So that is my presentation for today. As always, thank you for attending these presentations. We appreciate uh, your time here and then also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates. And if you'd like me to do any particular videos, uh, you can email me directly, mz at infinityfutures.com. Thank you very much.